Hey guys, Big Dave here for TGN and Tales of Talara, and I would like to welcome you to Warfronts. Yeah, that's right, Warfronts, exclamation mark. Warfronts is my Rift PvP show where I take an average PvE player, that would be me, and I show you his struggles in PvP in hopes that he can get better through self-analysis. Now, how exactly do we do that? Well, I'm glad you asked, because we use the guidelines. Yeah, that's right, the guidelines. Know them, love them, sexually harass them if you must, just never forget them. We also have a fifth unwritten guideline here on Warfronts, and that is have fun. Come on, guys, this is a game we're playing, right? Have a little fun. So this week on Warfronts, I thought we'd cover something that crops up every now and then, especially for the leveling PvE player who is dabbling in PvP, and that is that sacred time, that special time, graduation day. Yes, when we graduate from one PvP bracket to another. It is a special, special time in each individual character's life, and it can often be wrought with confusion and uncertainty. Now I'm a level 30 in the 30 to 39 bracket. I'm a level 40 in the 40 to 49 bracket. I'm confused. I'm scared. I'm woefully underpowered. Well, maybe that's true, but that doesn't mean you can't do something. You can't contribute in some way, and you can't have a lot of fun. So, some of my regular viewers might remember that a couple of weeks ago, we took my level 29 bard out for some support action, and a grand old time was had by all. Well, that bard is now level 30, he is sitting at the bottom of the 30 to 39 bracket, and he is ready for some war fronts. So, we queued up for a random war front, and we got, you guessed it, Black Garden. Yes, the randomest of all random war fronts, the Black Garden. So, without further ado, let's get ready for some support action in the Black Garden. Level 30, Rogue. Spect into Bard, we are focusing this week on how to contribute at the low end of a bracket. Okay guys, that means there's only one thing left to say to the action. Ah, Black Garden, my home away from home. Fantastic. Okay guys, we got a few seconds here. Let me just quickly speak to the TGN Idol viewers who might be watching this. This is my second of three videos for TGN, and I just want to say I'm not doing anything special for TGN. These are the videos that I would be making and posting on my own channel in support of my blog, Tales of Talara. Warfronts is into 10 episodes now. This is the 10th episode, so this is an established show, and I want to bring it to TGN's Rift channel. This is exactly what I want to bring week in and week out, so that's why I'm showing you Warfronts. Okay, let's start things off here, guys. We're going to start out with a sneaky, sneaky rogue grabbing that fang, but I get a quick slow on him, and the pursuit is on. Again, we are focusing on how to contribute at the low end of a new PvP bracket. I have just dinged level 30 not too long ago, and I am now trying to have a little fun in Warfronts, but also trying to be effective, or at least contribute something. So I'm just pushing out some damage here, doing the things that bards do, and uh, going to get this quick kill on the Fang Carrier. Not a lot of support from his own team there. Thought he was safe behind the tree, I guess. And immediately, as my teammate picks it up, I go into support mode. And I... that foliage, man. Okay. So I get a quick mesmerize on the dude there. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Supporty, support, sport. Supporty, support, support. Is that... yeah. That's pro that's proper term. So they do manage to take down our fang carrier. We don't manage to grab it back here. Spoiler. But I'm pushing out all of my... Uh, my pushing my cadence out pushing out as much healing as I can, and as soon as I realize we're not going to get it, I'm heading back towards the center. But again, that damn sneaky, sneaky rogue grabbing the fang as if he just sits there, stealthed for the entire game, waiting for that to happen. So, doesn't matter, because we are going to try to take him down again. That lovely, lush foliage getting in my way. Gotta love it. Fantastic leaf textures there right in your face. Okay, standing in an AoE there a little bit, getting smacked and wailed on. Ugh. Okay, could have done a lot better there. We do get the fang drop, but yeah. I take a pretty unneeded death. If I had kind of just moved around with my own teammates, probably could have easily avoided that particular death. So, 
back on the track here. We have the Fang. Let's support that Fang. In fact, let's not lose the Fang again. Let's just go ahead and hang on to this. So here is what I'm going to do. As a rogue, as a bard spec rogue, what I can do in the low levels is I can offer support to my team. I can't churn out amazing DPS. I can't necessarily use all of the control type spells and abilities that I will have later on in the 30s, uh, level, th later on in my 30s. But what I can do is I can push out a lot of healing, a lot of supplemental healing, a lot of damage based healing. I can just heal. I can contribute. It's what I can do. So I'm going to do that. And this is how I am going to attempt in this particular spec, on this particular character, to contribute in the low end of a PvP bracket. Now you can see these guys here, of course, uh, unsound technique to begin with, coming in one after the other, single file, getting taken out. Now they group up slightly better, uh, but that is also turned away with ease. That pet right there acting as a lovely healing node for me, doing very little damage to the fang carrier but allowing me to get off some major heals keeping my motifs up again contributing contributing slowing the pursuers of the fang carrier continuing to cadence pushing out as much healing as possible keeping my eyes forward my head on a swivel just trying to make sure that i am in range of my uh, fang carrier that I am hitting enemies whenever they're in range. I'm, I'm not Notice I'm not pursuing. I could have easily went away from the fang carrier there, but as you saw, ambush. So it's a good thing that I didn't stray too far because foliage, if I had, that would have been possibly disastrous. So back again here, back on... Oh, that was a bad... whatever that is, rift step, whatever the hell that thing is called. So anyway couple of other stealthies here. We got a couple. What have we got? Uh, we got a what is it, a cleric, warrior. I don't know. Anyway, we are dealing with it. I am loving that. Yeah, AOE, fantastic. So I am again pursuing my fan carrier, trying to keep my cadences rolling. Because what do I want to do? I want to support my team. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm not trying to rack up number one damage. I'm not trying to rack up high kills. I'm just trying to win this game. Because, hey, I like winning, and you get more favor when you win, right? So here we go. Here we go. Got about five... Okay. Enough with that mumbling. Let's actually use real words. Use your big boy words. Okay, so they're actually starting to line up. they got a nice concave there for you uh, StarCraft II players. And they're wailing on us. They're getting some guys through our line now. It is actually starting to look a little iffy here. But luckily, they don't really seem too focused. And even when we do lose the Fang, we have such coverage on it that it doesn't really matter. We're right back uh, on top of the Fang, snatching it right away from that warrior who was attempting very heartily... Or is that a cleric? I don't know. To retrieve it. So the warrior does a smart thing, comes around the backside of the tree. Unfortunately, there's just too much support. And that really is the... That's the story of the game. I mean, there's just too much teamwork here. Too much support on the part of the Defiant team. The Guardians can never really get going. Uh, after they finally realize that they shouldn't come in one at a time and just crash on our jagged coastline, they they never really focused their attack. You know, now we're out of line of sight. You know, we're out of the sight of the casters. Uh, we've kind of pushed them off uh, off of their game, what little uh, game they had, and we're going to finish it off. So again, there we go. We're contributing. Number two in healing. Look at that. Wow, I like it. Number two overall. So I'm a level 30 player, and I just got second place in healing. That's fantastic. I love it. So, you know, didn't do a lot of damage. That's to be expected. Got a decent amount of favor. I am liking that. Not going to complain too much there. Uh, got up there in the kills. Uh, you know, you just hang around. You're going to get those kills. Soak them up like a sponge. And I uh, did get one of the two carrier kills, so I'm pretty proud about that. Even as a support, I managed to contribute in several ways. I did healing, I did decent damage, and I managed to get a carrier kill. As well as just being there, supporting with my motifs and my buffs. So, hey, I think that was a pretty good game overall. Why don't we just take a moment, 
look back on that game, and let's see if we can figure out if we learned any lessons. That's right, lessons learned. So the number one thing we learned was, well, we learned that you can contribute at the low end of a PvP bracket. You just have to find the way that works for your class and your spec. Excuse me, your calling and your soul. So, I contributed through support healing. There was the level 32 rogue who was contributing by grabbing the fang, using his stealth very effectively. If you're a cleric, maybe you're going to throw out some heals. If your class has control abilities, go ahead and utilize those. Slows, stuns, mesmerizes, whatever you got, throw it out there. Also, hey, you can just contribute through damage. Just wail away. Do what you can. I mean, you do have the buff on you that increases your effective level. While you are lacking the skills, some of the skills that you do have are increased in power. So, it's not all bad. If all you can do is damage, well, damn, just do as much damage as you can. The point is, don't be afraid of queuing up for PvP at level 30, level 31, level 32. Just do it. You can contribute. It's possible. What else did we learn? Well, we reinforced a lot of lessons that we've learned in previous episodes of Warfronts. For instance, don't run in by yourself to a giant group of enemies who are surrounding and protecting a fan carrier. Go ahead and wait. Group up. I know this is a pug environment. I know these people don't know you, but you don't have to get super organized. Just stutter step a couple of times and let that guy who's running behind you catch up. Go in together. Use your head a little bit. Just because you're a PvE player doesn't mean you're stupid. You're smart enough to get through all those damn quests. You're certainly smart enough to hold up for just a second so that warrior or healer can catch up to you. And we also learned that proper support of the Fang wins the game in Black Garden. Even though we did drop the Fang several times, we were so clumped up around it, it was no problem for our guys to grab it again. Stay near your fang carrier, stay near your healers, stay near your bard buffs, stay together, and win the game. It's Black Garden. It's not that hard, people. Well, guys, on that note, I think we can go ahead and put this episode of Warfronts in the books. If you're interested in taking a look at more episodes of Warfronts, past episodes of Warfronts, you can access the Warfronts archives through talesoftalara.com. Tales of T-E-L-A-R-A dot com. I have been Big Dave for TGN and Tales of Talara. This has been Warfronts, and until next time, guys, take it easy. 